What's up, YouTube? It is Drama Channel, your Drama Channel host, Drama Garrett, being loud is funny, and Drama, this is a Drama Channel where I'm going to talk about all the drama. Anything, the only thing I'm going to talk about are things that are going to cause controversy and drama, okay? So the drama I want to bring up today is uh, most of the motherfuckers on YouTube, most of the motherfuckers in the country, most of the motherfuckers in the, uh, the first world, and that is... Uh, I want to talk about haters, bro. Like, haters. Like, I, I was a hater. I am a hater, more or less. Like, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to change my hater ways. Like, I've been thinking of a lot uh, ever since I like really quit my job. Um, I'm thinking about, you know, I just got a text message today from an old coworker of mine that another co old coworker of mine is running around talking about how I'm going to be back at work tomorrow, just like making shit up. So uh, this, this goes back to. Uh, I've quit that job multiple times and they call me back and then I get my job back. And everybody's whining, complaining and bitching because I'm I'm the favorite. Uh, the division manager is my uncle. Yada, yada, yada. Joke, joke, jokes, 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 jokes. Hating, just hating, hating shit. You know what I mean? Just talking shit to talk shit because they're, uh, they're whatever. You know what I mean? They're upset. They're upset because I got, get, I got some, uh, I got some second chances and they, they feel cheated because I, because of what I did. Yep. They feel cheated because Yep, it's my fault that I uh, I got second chances. Yep, I mean whatever. You know what I mean? They're just talking shit, to talk shit. So, like, haters. I never like I was in disbelief uh, my entire life, and now I can't believe that I ever thought that like they weren't everywhere. Um, like the people I've been scared of my whole life, the bullies who make fun of me for every time I try to do something. Like, came to do a town, and like I was a fan of Dragon Ball Z. And then everybody in my class is like, oh, you watch those losers that fly around and pretend to shoot laser beams and stuff like that? Like, Doo -doo -doo. And then they make fun of me. Like, that was some hate and shit, bro. But, like, that was, that was back in elementary school. And then, like, as I went to uh, uh, climb through the um, the uh, the school school grades, whatever, and then, like, I, I became a fan of, like, old school RootScape, or, which was RootScape back in the day. Like, I was playing that shit, and then everybody was bullying me for, like, being a nerd. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like, everybody and their mom was playing RuneScape at one point. And then just forgot about, you know, hating on me for doing that shit. And then I, I was super into, like, techno. I don't know what it was called back. It was called something else. Now it's EDM and the rave scene. I was bullied for listening to that electronic music and, like, hip-hop or, like, rap and stuff. Uh, maybe not so much rap. I mean, like, rap, yeah, I was, yeah, that was, like, we were from a country town, but anyway, uh, that's different. But, like, techno and stuff. But now it's, like, all of a sudden, it's, it's the most popular thing ever, but, like, I don't know. I feel like uh, people are just hating on me for that. People are hating on me for playing a video game. People are hating on me for I, I started to learn to dance, and I thought that would make me cool, make me fit in more. But people just fucking would talk shit. They had opinions on it. People who could not dance to save their fucking life would give me opinions on what I needed to do to be a better dancer and hated on me or made fun of me or whatever. Or, uh, like, put me out to whatever. And it was no matter what I fucking tried to do, people were just making negative, stupid ass comments about what I'm doing. And not even just me. I was still caught up with my own problems, but they're hating on everybody around them. It was like this, like this. Uh, I mean, now if I like, I was going to guess why, why haters do what they do. And it's like pretty much like this social jockeying where they're trying to like compete for status. And if anybody comes up trying to like learn a new skill, or learn a new thing, or do something else that like makes them not look as cool as perceived maybe as cool, they got to knock them down or something like that. That's just like my quick fire from the hip take why haters hate. But like, it just never stopped. I like would party. And then, you know, there are certain people at parties that just had problems with me because like, I was like, whatever. I was just doing my thing. And then... Uh, I stopped going to bars because, like, the bar scene is, like, pretty much hater central. Like, you go into a bar. I always make this joke. You walk into a bar. I hated going to a bar because you, when you walk into the bar, the first thing that happens is you notice every dude in the bar. They break their neck to look at you, and then they look you up and down to see if you're competition and shit like that. It's like, it's like hater shit. Um, that's not the best example. Let's say, like, beer pong. That's a lot better example. If you get too good at beer pong, people, like, they will fucking start fights. Or talk bad shit about how you're like a tryhard or a sweat. Oh my god! In the video game scene, like that's where haters mostly like congregate. If you if you suck, you're a new piece of shit. But if you if you if you try to do well and like practice uh, practice really hard and try really hard, then you're a tryhard. You're a sweat. You have no life. You you don't go outside. You're fat. You live in your mom's basement. 
blah, 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 blah. The hate, it never fucking stops, bro. Like, people can't do nothing without somebody, like, talking shit. And, like, you know, we go, you know, let's accelerate to the to the present now. Like, my old job, like, all I did was work and just keep my mouth shut. That's all I fucking did. All I did was just keep my mouth shut, work, uh, tried. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Horrible, 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 horrible. Just, could you imagine trying at something? Oh my God, what a piece of shit I was. You know what I mean? So then they offered me a job, which I took. And because I wasn't perfect day one, uh, compared to my other uh, coworker who had been doing it for 30, 40 years, I was always never as good. But if I ever tried hard, why? Dude, they're never gonna, they're never gonna reward you for that. Why are you trying so hard? What's the, 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 the? And then they like, you know, Oh, well, you talk too much because I'd be like talking all the time and stuff like that because, you know, yeah, I talk just, you know, for fun, but I talk to gather information. I talk to like get insight from other people, discuss ideas, et cetera, et cetera. You know, that's what I do. That's why I talk. Or who cares why I talk? It was just, there was no, why do you talk so much? Or like, I, uh, I, I think I have this like condition called narcolepsy where like if I uh, stop going hard, I pass the fuck out. Uh, or at least my energy goes from 100 to zero if I'm not like constantly stimulating myself. Anyway, that's kind of why I talk a lot. I'm kind of why I'm like a uh, uh, spurgy a little bit. But like, then it became a problem that I was drinking coffee. Like, oh, you, you always just leave it to drink coffee. And then like, not going to sit there and like rehash all that old bullshit again. But essentially, I was just getting hated on because I, I tried. And then I was getting a little bit of attention for it. And then all the other people around me were just super upset about that. that you know what I mean? Like. I like, uh, oh, he, he, they must be related. They, uh, oh, he can just use his cell phone whenever he wants to. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. They told the other managers they ever, you know, he can't touch whatever. He just, every time he threatens to quit, they just double his money. Just double it, double it, double it, double it. I was just making so much fucking money. Just so much money. I was just making so much money because I was so special and spoiled and, oh, uh, that was me. That was me. Yeah, the haters. And then like, yeah, it's just okay. So then the next thing is like, I, I try to start this YouTube channel. And then, you know, you remember my, my, my good friend Jackson Bates 8275 from my previous video I complained about. Essentially, I was just making arguments he didn't like. And then he just decided to go, it's 3 in the morning. I don't want to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to type. I'm going to type so many words. And you're going to be so fucking. I'm going to get you. You're going to. Oh, my God. Uh, she'll notice this. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. You're fucking going down, buddy. Uh, you know how fast my thumbs go. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep talking shit. And your camera's going to lag out. Because I thought. Yeah. 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 I got him good. I got him good. Nobody's going to fall for his trap. I'm just going to hate on his shit because he thinks something different than me. Yeah. Fuck that guy. That's a, that's like, you know, I mean, like, and like uh, previously when I was like even uh, when, I, when I was experimenting with the channel, just like little hate and shit, like in our little discord, just little hate and comments, little hate and comments. You can see it. Boom. Boom. Like sarcastic dig here. Sarcastic dig there. Just hating, bro. Like, and. What's the point of all this? What I'm saying is, the reason why I bring it all this up is because, like, it, it, this this type of culture is bleeding into every fabric of society. And, like, there's an entire, like, that's why I make the jokes about the drama and the controversy and stuff like that. And, like, I tried doing just, like, basic self-help stuff and zero traction. But I make one video about, like, giving a comment. Like, I just put Andrew Wilson, Wes Watson in the title, which was, like, these two people who got into a spat, a big, like, um, a big drama that people were looking up. And like I got like 80 views in a week or something like that on a view on a video where I was just saying really nothing. All I said was like the one guy said he was a Christian and maybe he should have said he's a Christian or like be like maybe he should apologize for what he said to the other guy because blah 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 blah. But like whatever. It's just it's such a big it's it's a major I feel like it's a major issue in this country. Like like everybody's just a stupid hater, bro. Like it's like. It's destroying us. It's destroying the whole country. It's destroying everything. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like what's happened is like the government has had this monopoly on violence. Now, like uh, the entire world, the world powers have um, divvied out the, the borders of the country, the countries uh, and all the uh, territory in the world. And then um, now they are uh, they have they got the monopoly on violence. So now we can't literally just kill each other because like back in the day. Like, you know what I mean? Like, imagine the feudal ages. If you were to talk shit about somebody in a bar or like a, a, whatever, 
they would, you know, they'd be with their gang because you wouldn't be rolling solo in the feudal ages. You know what I mean? Like, why would you, you know what I mean? It would be like, you know, the knights always rolled heavy. All the soldiers rolled heavy together. And, like, it was big on families and stuff. Like, there was, like, huge separations based on families and all this stuff. And I'm not talking about, like, I don't know specifically. Don't be like, source, source. I need a source to that. That's not how it all was everywhere. No, no, I'm just, I'm saying, like, I feel like that was more common that way, like, for social interaction than what we have today where people are just, like, they're allowed to be individuals because we're being protected by big daddy government not allowing anybody to commit any violence. Ugh. So what I'm saying there is that if you talk shit back then about anybody, they would you'd probably die, or somebody would try to kill you. You know what I mean? Like if you if you like say you lived in a village and you were known for running your mouth and stuff like that, and there wasn't like a strict rule of law that would immediately punish people, then they would kill you. They would torture you, kill you, whatever, enslave you, whatever. You know what I mean? Like you weren't allowed to just run around and talk shit. Now I'm not I'm not suggesting that that is the solution. I'm just saying. That is probably a part of the cause of why we live in this culture right now. Because I've identified, like, we're we're just like violent. We're we're, we're vengeful by nature. I'm seeing like I feel humans are just vengeful by nature. Or, 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 I'm not. I don't care. I feel. Yeah, I'm gonna make an assertion. I feel humans are bad. Are capable of being bad people. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. So, therefore, we're bad, and then, like, when negative things happen to us, we, we tend to go for an eye-for-an-eye mentality. We're like, we want to enact revenge. And most of the time when we act re re want to enact revenge, we're like, we're seeking justice or something like that, so that it's never equal. It's never like, you poked me, I'm going to poke you. Or you're going to be like, somebody tripped me, so I'm going to trip them back. It's always like, you dare destroy my my reputation. Da -da -da -da. You, like, pers you, you conceptualize this, like, hidden slight it's always worse than what it actually is or something like that or that that tends to happen i'm speaking personal experience here like if somebody slights me i always like in a way blow it out of proportion i'm not saying like i feel most people do that it's not just me i'm not like most people take things out of proportion like we, we, most of the time like when somebody does something to you it's twice as bad as it actually is and whatever um so like you want to get them back we're vengeful by nature I'm gonna make that assertion. I think we're vengeful by nature. I think we want revenge. We want justice and all this other stuff. We want equal, we want it to be, you know, debts paid and stuff like that, okay? Okay? And then, so, therefore, now that we can't commit acts of violence against each other, um, we, we need to get it out somehow. So, like, we have level one, which is just, like, literal physical death. And then there's this thing I've been talking about called social death, social murder. So, like, we can't, we can't physically attack anybody, but we can destroy their reputation. You know, you see it all the time. Like, when, when political enemies go after each other, commentators go after each other, the first thing they go through is for their throat. They go for their throat, their sponsors. They try to cut off their freaking... They try to cut off their sponsors, talk shit. Like, look at the Bud Light. It, it's both It's both political parties, too. Like, the right... Like, with the Bud Light thing. Because they, they tried a cringy ad with Dylan Mulhaney. So then there's, like, this huge boycott between, the, like, the right wing saying, like, Bud Light is trying to kill our children. It's like, Bud Light is a fucking beer company. They're trying to kill all of us with beer. Anyway, yeah, it's neither here nor there. What I'm saying is, is like, we, as a nation, we're committing, like, we're committing social murder against each other all the time. Or, like, social assault. Social, like, like the equivalent of, the physical equivalents on a social level. On a, on a, on a, on a conceptual level. Like, I mean, like, let me call out Vosh. Vosh does this all the time. There's this uh, uh, commentator named Vosh who likes to call everybody he disagrees with a Nazi, a fascist, a uh, racist, homophobic, transphobic. I mean, I, this guy is just, I just don't personally like this guy a lot, but he says this shit a lot. It's like, it's said so much that in like the commentary community, there's like a bingo card. Vosh calls you a, calls you a fascist. Uh, these are like terms that like, it's not like, it doesn't matter the title is. It's like, person bad therefore socially ostracize them that's the whole goal because the social ostracization because we're so like we're so communal we're such communal creatures is just as much murder as murder is i mean like in a way like murder up here social ostracization like exile is like really close you know what i mean like and uh hurting your ability to earn income and stuff like that so that those are my those are my dramatic thoughts my drama that is all my drama there and uh what i'm saying What's the whole point of this video? Uh, fuck the haters. Fuck all of you. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just want to talk about it. Is that my mind? Is that my heart? Whatever. Fuck it.
I fucking hate haters. And if you're a hater, quit that shit. I'm a hater. I'm trying to quit that shit. We all need to fucking quit that shit and start fucking tying, like, you know, getting back to the fucking same team or else, like, the world's going to wipe the U.S. off the map. I don't know. Like, I'm not saying, like, be nationalist or whatever. I'm talking about, like, all humanity needs to do it. We all need to stop fucking being haters. But we need to start in our house. I don't know. Fuck it. Not only, like, five people are going to watch this shit anyway, so whatever. But fuck all the haters. Knock that shit off. But then also a message to people. Haters are going to hate. So, like, fuck it. Just do it anyway. Like, be yourself. Be positive. Be bro. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe this this is such a crudely put together video like all of my other ones. But this one's got a green screen. So, I'm going to put a sick background on this one. So, yeah. See you later. Catch you later in the new one. That's my daily piece of content. Sweet. Drama channel. Ojama Garrett signing off. Fuck off. Haters. Oh, yeah. I, I know that uh, I'm opening up, like, trolls. But whatever. It'd be, it'd be what it'd be. I love trolls, but yeah, see ya.